When setting out for a walk in the Himalayas, which trail to take? In this kingdom with 90 native cultures and eight of the world's 10 tallest mountains, each chosen pathway leads to its own discoveries. Very, very tall mountain, that is Annapurna South. Oh, Behind yes. the tree. Walking through the villages, I, I had no idea it was like this because I had no idea what it was like. <laughs> I've read books about it, but you know they can't tell this story. Just the people that live up here and, and the colors and everybody looks just happy and to task at what they're doing for their day. So you fodder for the cattle. Yeah, you see over there and then the grasses. So this the red powder, what you see, is a red vermilion powder we put on the head because all the married women, they have this red powder. He is so well informed and he's so well organized. Um, I don't think we could do any better. And he, he, he is very into helping us learn and discover. Having grown up in a secluded mountain village, trip leader Rajesh Rejmi uses his own experience to bring life to each trek he leads. Now my question is, can they get mules to cross this kind of bridge? Yes. yes. That's really they do. amazing. They, do. they can go anywhere. He has taught me a lot about his country. I think he wants to share a great deal of his knowledge. We get wonderful teachers about their nations. They're not just guides. A guide just says, go from here to here. But these are really teachers who tell us about their lives, and that's why you come to visit. You want to see how people live in other places. Yep. And then they walk all the way seven days, and the place called Jomsom. So they carry everything with them. The trip leaders make all the difference. We plowed ourselves. They are the explainers. They are the problem solvers. And that, uh, that's very comforting to know that you're in good hands. And they make it Yes, 90% things they make in the village. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. So, so you hold this one. Okay, let's walk up. Oh God, that's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite things about this trip, when we got to experience the culture. They come down every day to get their, the green photos firewood and water as well. Oh, oh, and that's yes. what yeah. on right. Head. So then now you can oh, walk. Ahead. I can't even feel the weight. No, no, you can't. I'm serious, I can't yeah. feel the weight. Just go further a kilometer than you feel. <laughs> no, it's it's <laughs> <laughs> oh. a book. Oh, your notebook. And it's nicely covered. Oh, the classroom clock. <laughs> Thank you. You know she's Thank a teacher? We want teacher or a Whitney teacher. With no roads to most Nepali towns, the paths along these mountain valleys bustle with local foot traffic. The variety, the interaction with people is what we really cherish. To go to schools, to be able to talk with the children and see their papers and meet the, like the ladies that we met yesterday and learn about their lives, that's fantastic. Nepali is the national language, but English is also taught to students, starting when they are very young. What's that? Sin. Sin. Okay, up here. That was the hard one last time. What's that? The school visit was amazing. Those children were were so outgoing and eager to learn and eager to participate. And we thought that the teachers were doing a fine job, and we appreciate their, their taking on this responsibility. I am also Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a good opportunity to really get involved with 
the Nepali culture. I especially like visiting the school, seeing how the school was set up and what the foundation is doing for the school to help it. It was clear that there was a good exchange between OAT and the school. If you want to give the, the pencils or anything to the children, you can do it right now. And the rest we give to the people. So now we are entering the village Tamizung, where we are doing our the day in the life. And you see all these women, they are just here to welcome us. This is, I can say, almost like a village gate. So whenever any distinguished guest comes, all these mother community, they come to welcome the guest. Ah, yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, thank you. Namaste. It was really interesting to see the kind of village where many of the men of working age have gone off to work somewhere else, uh, leaving the women to be in charge and essentially operating the daily affairs in the village. That, that made it just incredibly interesting. We have the mother community. So these women, what we see right now, they belong to different houses of this village. <laughs> The joy uh, was to see, I think, the sense of humor that was present in that village and among those women. The laughter was a very unusual thing. Uh, there are lots of communities where you wouldn't have that kind of, of humor and interaction and joy apparent, and that's infectious. <laughs> <laughs> then what she said that, then take me with you. <laughs> to say that the best is joking about Bill and the lady in the village. <laughs> I mean, how can I not think that that is just wonderful? His wife looks very angry. <laughs> Every remote village in Nepal has its own ambulance backpack. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. No, you pretend bye -bye. that you are sick. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ross just said that when he takes 27 OAT trips, he's going to be carried around in one of those baskets. <laughs> Do you agree? I'll be old enough that I'll need to be. <laughs> To me, a real strength of the Nepali culture are the small villages, the communities that work together and to meet the people and, and see them as individuals is, is really enjoyable. The culture, the culture is fascinating. Don't think I've ever been in a country quite like this. The diversity, the history, the people. Kathmandu alone has seven World Heritage Cultural Sites within a 10-mile radius. Sites are both Hindu and Buddhist. I've had many moments of joy, and the one that stands out is walking out of this lodge the first day that we were here at 7.15 and looking at Fishtail Peak, which was absolutely amazing. I've never seen a mountain like that. Seeing the faces of the children as we photographed them, the namaste of all the people that we passed, this was a marvelous experience. 